if I may now ask the president of Europe, one of them, the one we have, <laughs> uh, and we are so grateful for that, to speak, please. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I was the president that had a free agenda today, so uh, therefore I'm standing here. Mr. President, uh, dear friend uh, Christian Wolff, excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to uh, attend your meeting here. Uh, I think it's very important that uh, walls fall, especially in scientific research. But um, 21 years ago, um, a wall came down in this city, in Berlin. 21 years, this means that since then, meanwhile, a whole generation, in fact, has grown up without uh, knowing the harsh and artificial division of Europe. I think this is something we can only rejoice in. But we should not forget to those new generations, we should pass on how cruel this war was, how hard and unfair a price the people to the east of it paid for what was called peace in Europe. A wall came down in the city in Berlin, but as the program of this very interesting conference shows, the walls which divide people, which block our ways to progress, are not just walls of brick and mortar, of barbed wire and landmines and guns. There are indeed, ladies and gentlemen, also walls in our minds. Walls which prevent us from seeing and seizing new breakthroughs in science, in research, but also in international relations, in the way we organize our societies, in the way we prepare the future. Indeed, as Christian Wolff made reference to it, one of the items in the next session particularly caught my attention. It is indeed the topic of breaking the wall of high-level nuclear waste. And I know there's a lot of uh, things to do about it in, uh, for the moment in Germany. But ladies and gentlemen, we need economic growth. We need economic growth to preserve our European systems of political and economic freedom, coupled with social and ecological responsibility. In short, in what we in Belgium call our Rhineland model, and I hope the Berliners do not mind my calling it so. But indeed, we need economic growth that does not deplete the energy resources of our planet. And we need economic growth that respects the environment and the climate. And although this has been a taboo for many people and still is, we know that we cannot simply not achieve all this as matters stand without nuclear energy, without nuclear power stations. And we are not the only ones. Developing countries are in need of a secure and affordable source of energy. But again, this form of energy, the nuclear power stations, are only acceptable if they do not mortgage the future of this planet, a planet we do not own but have in loan from the coming generations. This means we have to find solutions for nuclear waste. To start with, we should reduce significantly the volume of waste produced and, of course, the time span of its harmfulness. We must take into account a very real and legitimate concern of our citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that Europe as a whole has all it needs, all the brains and means needed to realize major steps forward in the treatment of nuclear waste and four-generation nuclear reactors. My own government, the Belgian government, if I may be allowed to mention it, has invested heavily in a long-term program to that effect. It is called MIRA and is open to further European and international participation. Ladies and gentlemen, um, in this city in Berlin, a wall came down. 
And since then, our European Union has managed to bring down many walls, walls in mortar and stone, and walls within the minds of people to create a unique process of continuing integration, which is the envy of many other parts of our world. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to say that the Union is moving forwards again. After the whole of the institutional debate, for instance, about the Lisbon Treaty. The institutional discussions are now behind us. And uh, thanks to the cooperation of lots of people under the Belgian presidency, we have been able until now to bring down a few more walls, to create a better common institutions for economic governance, for instance, a better protection against the excesses of an unfettered capitalism. Many walls came down during the last decade. We have now free circulations of uh, persons and goods. We have a single market and for 16 and 1st of January 17 countries, we have a single currency. I think we now have to focus much more on a common single strong economy. And also in that field, your research is very important. Indeed, after the relative failure of the Lisbon strategy, we have to invest more than ever. We have to invest heavily and seriously in the so-called EU 2020 strategy. We have indeed to strengthen our European industry and realize new breakthroughs. For instance, one of the walls we urgently want to bring down, and which is very important for research especially, is the one in the way of the European patent, a dossier which is on the table since more than 30 years. We as a Belgian presidency convene a competitiveness council this week with the real firm intention to reach at last a consensus which has been more than 30 years in coming. Ladies and gentlemen, to have the same wealth and welfare in the future, we need a common, a single economy in Europe because we simply need a larger scale economy comparable to that of the United States, to that of India, to that of China, for instance. In this endeavor, to be very clear, the German economy has to be our guideline and the standard for all the European member states. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, not all walls must fall. We need some walls to protect our privacy to protect our intimacy as an individual, as a nation. Indeed, we could not live as an individual or as a nation in a world without any wall, in a gigantic glass house. Europe, indeed, has to safeguard its diversity. The European Union is not a steamroller and may not be seen as a steamroller, meant to annihilate its nations. It should continue to respect what I'd call the good walls, the walls that give people the space to be themselves and thus make them better equipped to work and live with others. Because people who are self-confident are all the more able to question themselves and their surroundings and to break down the walls in their minds that blind them to new ideas, to other people's ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, to, to end, I wish you very fruitful talks and debates, and I hope you bring down some of these walls today. And of course, I congratulate the organizers on deciding, having decided on such a brilliant team, and I wish your conference all the possible success on behalf of the rotating presidency, the rotating presidency of the European Union. Thank you very much. I thank you again for your for your words. Um, uh, you may you may think it's a bit insulting uh, to give food to someone from Belgium. Actually, we Germans prefer it the other way around. But this is from all over the world, and so uh, this doggy bag is for you to make sure that it's identified. It's not only European, but it's uh, Belgian. As well. <laughs>